Welcome everyone. I'm Laura DeFranco, the CEO of Brave Healer Productions, where we have a mission to wake the world up to what's possible. And here today to help me with that mission is one of the most amazing authors of a new book that we have coming out. It's called Love Warriors, The Conscious Expert's Guide to Healing, Joy, and Manifestation. Sharon Joseph, welcome. Thank you, Laura. It's an honor to be here and you know, I just have to give you a big shout out for what you do in the world because we so, so, so need it at this time. So thank you. Thank I appreciate you. that so much. I get to have so much fun with you guys every day talking about these awesome, juicy <laughs> topics. And I'm excited about this one. Um, you guys, Sharon Joseph is an expert in seeing one's true soul who helps her clients heal on all levels through channeling. And you guys are going to find information down below for her with her website and everything. But let's get into this a little bit. I really first wanted to thank you for being willing to share your story in this book and for the incredible master teachings you're sharing also, because, you know, as you know, you guys, these books are full of authentic stories, but we're dropping some practical experiences here practices, tools, and strategies. And Sharon's um, is going to be a life-changing tool. So would you share a little bit about your chapter with us? Sure, I would love to. So um, my chapter is about love being a frequency and not an emotion. And when my, when my uh, guides told me that, I was really shocked because... <laughs> Don't you feel love, you know, when you when I'm thinking about hugging an animal or or a, a person that I love, I I feel it, right? But no, it's a frequency. Feeling is within that frequency. Yes, it's part of it. Maybe we humans make it too much of a big part of it because you know how when we and this is what I'm talking about when we come into the world, we all have self worth. You know, we remember where we come from. We know that we're worthy just by being here. And and then we get the parents who, who, who think, they're, think they're doing us a favor by saying, you should do this, you should do that, go for this, or you be a doctor, you be a lawyer, you be whatever. And then they bring us up this way. And same with the teachers or whatever influence we have in, in our lives growing up. And it affects us. And so, or, or you know how when parents say, be a good girl and do this, or you'll be a good boy if you do that, right? So they take us away from who we really are. And so getting back to the love, we are here on, at this time on this planet, do not know yet how to hold the frequency of true unconditional love. And so in the book, I'm sharing how my struggles, you know, when when I first met my husband, I was saying, okay, we're, you know, I'm very spiritual. I need a person to know what my vantage point is, right? Everything is through spirit. And um, I meditate and I do this and that. And he's like, yeah, let's meditate, you know? And so the more... I got into it, the more he got away from it. But it was a lesson for me to appreciate what he brings to the table and to love him where he is at. And why is it so hard for us to love and accept people where they're at? Um, why do we always try to make them be a certain way? And you know that song, What Have You Done For Me Lately? It's always about what, what do I get out of it, you know? And it's not, you, we always get things out of it, whether it's positive or negative, if you could put it that way. We always get uh, an evolution of the soul and experience. So there is no ever, any time we do not get something out of a relationship. Relationships are, are just a mirror for us to look at ourselves. You know, that's all they are. they are. We think that when we meet someone, we're attracted to them. And that's, that's where it goes beyond and we carry it into a relationship. But the truth is that we make agreements with souls to represent what we need in order for us to get 
more evolved, to experience something and, and to learn a lesson and get beyond that. So, so the chapter talks about some of my spirals, you know, how it was, um, so when I met my husband, I, I knew what I wanted, but then as soon as I met him and we had kids, I went into this quote unquote feminine role where the kids and the husband come first, right? Or the kids and the partner, however, you know, we all um, view the world. And it's it's not about that. It's about getting to know ourselves through the relationships and accepting everyone where they're at, whether it's husband, wife, uh, partner, kids, you know, with my kids also. I promised myself when I was bringing kids into the world to just love them where they're at, to let them be who they are. And for most of the part I have, you know, and, and everybody comes and tells me I did such a great job. I tell them it's not me. It's just me allowing them to be who they are. They came in this way. Uh, but of course, you know, there are times where fear takes over and then we tell them, well, maybe you shouldn't do that. You know, I think it's not such a great idea. Think about it, you know, or other people might be more forceful than I am. I always give them a choice. But then the trick is to remember that each of us has their own journey, whether there are kids and we want to protect them, whether there are loved ones and we want to protect them. We all have our own fears. We don't want to put them on someone else. So back to love, to just love, love a person where they're at. If we could do that, we'll be in a really good place. And I feel like it will be more, there'll be more love in the world. You know, we start with ourselves. How do we love, love ourselves? That's also a, a very hard topic. Um, feel worthy, love ourselves. Um, and when we can feel more worthy and love ourselves deeper and there's always layers to love ourselves um then then we can love more because our cup is fuller right when the cup flows over we can give more and i feel like it's it's about giving and receiving it's about forgiveness and allowance and acceptance these are the three things that i would say that are are important for love and of course when we talk about uh physical exchange it doesn't have to be a means to an end like an orgasm for example it could be a, a physical touch when we touch each other we don't only show you know love but we also change exchange information so if we're not touching each other we're not getting the information that we might need. So that's another thing to know about love that my guides have taught me. <laughs> well, yeah, a, so that's, it's a big juicy topic, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is. We love can talk people, about it for many. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. For many hours. Love people yeah. where they're at. Love is a frequency, not an emotion. You guys have already had uh, so many golden nuggets from Sharon. Um, Sharon, when I created the idea of love warriors, I wanted part of that definition to be about showing up, knowing that our vulnerability is one of our strengths. That was one of the ways I was defining it for myself. Why are you a love warrior? You know, it's funny. I talk about that also at the beginning of the chapter. I said, Laura invited me to be a love warrior and I was struggling with the war, with the war part. But then I realized you know, you, you really want to be there to to talk about love and, and to rally for it. Um, so I'm a love warrior because that's all that is. That is the essence of what we came here to experience, I, in my opinion. And I feel, again, that we will be in a better place with ourselves and with our world if we were love warriors. So I, I really appreciate that you brought that on. Thank you. You know, you're talking about relationships there. And I was um, just sitting and listening to you, thinking about the ones I've had in my life. And 
always having this deep yearning for the person to be a little bit on the same page in that spiritual journey so that we could walk and grow together. And, you know, I heard you when you say just love them where they're at. But, but what about when that thing in you is going in the other direction? And what do you do with that deep yearning when you know there's evolution and expansion to be had, but you also are really pretty clear that it's not going to be coming from that particular relationship? Can, it's a big question, I realize, but how would you answer that? It's a big question. So I will tell you this. Of course, everyone needs to figure it out for themselves. I can only speak for myself. For me, I realized, and, and I've had this struggle many times, and I, it still comes up for me, but I realized this. I'm all the time out there because I channel all day long for people and, you know, but my husband brings the grounding for me, you know, so, and, and we have a lot of fun together in the physical where I came here also to experience the physicality of things, you know. So for me, it works wonderfully to understand what he brings to the table and appreciate that. And I have friends and, you know, a lot of circles that I can be with are like-minded and, ex, you know, expansive like me. And I share with my husband everything that I learned too. So it's not that, you know, I can't talk about it. It's just that, he doesn't go the way I go, <laughs> but you know, it's different for everybody. I think that a person needs to decide what is most important for them and what, what do they get? Do they get something? Um, it, it kind of <laughs> reminds me what I said not to, not to do. What do I get out of it? But that's not a, what I mean. I mean, how does it uh, fill me up and how does it evolve me? to be in this relationship. Part of my involvement is to keep understanding that I do need to accept a person where they're at. That's a big, big thing, you know? Loving unconditionally is really uh, hard to do. <laughs> it's hard to do. You are um, right about yeah. that. It's a lifelong practice, of course, right? Yes. And we're all getting a little better at it as we go. I think this book is surely going to help people. <laughs> yeah, for um, sure. So you you have a lot going on uh, other than just, you know, writing in this book. Tell us about your how people work with you and your offerings. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. So um, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions and... Um, I do also classes online and in person and some retreats. I have some uh, new classes coming on and um, also uh, a podcast coming in. So if someone wants to know what's going on, uh, if you go on my website, SharonJoseph.com, uh, you could register and get a newsletter. And with the newsletters, I just... It's basically not really selling or anything. It's just my love to you, explaining what's going on in the world and how my what my view is and maybe empowering and giving some free meditations and free things. So yeah, go to uh, to my website and sign up for the newsletter if you'd like. Awesome. Thank you. We've yes, got that down you. below for everybody. So all you have to do is go on down into the show notes and you can find Sharon's website there. Um, so one of the big missions I have with all of our publications is to help our readers live an extraordinary life. And no matter where you listeners are on your journey, these books are going to help you answer that question. What else is possible? Right. right. So Sharon, um, I was hoping you'd share a simple stepping stone that you, you'd like to give our listeners today that will help them with that, that journey to start it out. What do you want them to know kind of on a foundational level? On a foundational level, I really believe that we, you can achieve anything you want to. The, the question is, do you know what you want to? And, and the question is, 
what is who you who are you really did you put away all the conditioning and all the you know I, when I, when i look at someone i see that they bring in the similar essence of their past lives or other lives into this life and they go through a a similar thing but a different story a similar content but a different story so if you realize what your spirals are what do you keep coming against in your life do you know how to solve that to move forward because everything is doable and solvable it's a matter of do you know how to do it do you need help maybe doing it do you you know it's so easy for others to see it on our on us rather than us seeing it on ourselves right yes so don't be shy reach out for not only to me all of these amazing authors are just incredible and um yeah that will yeah. be my nugget I love that you said that it's so uh hard to see it in ourselves we can see it in everyone else but we do need help <laughs> we do need help you guys so um all right I know maybe something that Sharon said today made you curious maybe you have a question or you need some support so go on down and click on her website, figure out all of the amazing things that she is up to, um, sign up for that newsletter and, and uh, receive all the love. You're going to be able to connect with her and she's very generously there for you guys to help you take those next steps, as are all of our authors. This for me was it's more than a book. It's a community that really cares about those next steps for you. And we want to support that journey. So um, I hope that you guys will do that. Sharon, thank you so much for what you do in the world and for being here today to share it with everyone. Thank you, Laura, for all that you do. It's just amazing and mind boggling how you do it and how you bring in so many incredible people together to be out there and to help everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you for letting me be here. You're so welcome. My, my total pleasure. It's a pretty awesome community. Um, yes. And thanks to everyone who might be listening for being a part of it. So we've got some invitations for you. You can come on over to our Facebook group. It's the Brave Healer Book Club, you guys. And that's where you can actually rub elbows with the authors, ask a question, um, listen to some live chapter readings. I've got that link below. And join us for our book launch party. It's going to be online January 6th. And the invitation is on the Brave Healer Productions Facebook page. The link is below for that as well. You can join us on Zoom and um, be a part of the celebration that's going to be in the new year. I know it sounds like it's far away, but you know it isn't, right? <laughs> it's going to be here before we know it. We exactly. Close our eyes and here it is. Oh, yes. I know. Um, and if you happen to be listening to this interview anytime around that date, beginning of January, that means you can go over to Amazon and pick up the book and start your journey with your read. And lastly today, everyone, remember your words change the world when you're brave enough to share them. So it's time to be brave. See you yeah. next time, everyone. Thank, Thank you, Sharon. Laura. See you, bye. <laughs>